This is to scrape Brenda's bunions off. Oh my god. She has a lot of bunions and gross. Her feet are, she's like a hobbit. You know what? You'd never know because the internet's never going to see my feet. Not for free, anyway. How am I going to do an intro after you just sabotage that me? That was the intro. I that, mean. okay. Welcome back, y'all. Today we're cooking. That's why I'm washing this cheese grater. I used to have one of those that, that you put the cheese in and then you go like this and the cheese falls out like they have at Olive Garden. But I left that one at home and I'm in my grandma's crib. So that's, that's why I don't have that. But it would be so cool if I did have it because that one is so great and it makes me feel really, <laughs> well, yum. No, my brother just mooned me and his butt's really hairy and gross. Let the record show. Let the record not show, actually. We're not showing his butt. Or are we? All right, so today we're making creamy turkey fettuccine. Only instead of that, it's going to be creamy chicken linguine. Because I like linguine better than fettuccine, and I got chicken instead of turkey. I'll put the paper of the recipe. I got it from a garage sale. Yeah, let's get started. I, uh, for the record, I'm not a chef. I don't know how to cook. Actually, when I cook, it usually ends in disaster. So don't do anything I'm doing unless I do it well and then do it. But you'll find out at the end if it tastes good or if it's horrible and we all die. If we all die, the video will never happen. So then you won't even know. First step is wash your hands. Never forget that or else you're gross. So wash. Why are you laughing? That's the first step. Do you not wash your hands before you cook? They laughing at me, but I don't know. I don't know if that means they don't wash their hands or what. I do. I <laughs> All right, let's go through the ingredients. First of all, we got the linguine. That's kind of the most important part, unless you want to eat the sauce as a soup, which is not recommended. Then we got broccoli. I got Great Value brand uh, because that's the only broccoli they had. And uh, yeah, broccoli. It's actually good when it's covered in cheese. We got the Philadelphia cream cheese. And then we also have Philadelphia whipped garlic and herb spread it didn't say to get the whipped one but they only have the whipped one so i hope that this one is fine it has the same flavor so i'm guessing that it's fine and then we got roasted red bell peppers these are freaking good i've only ever put them in this recipe but i feel like you could put these in a lot of things and they would make it really good milk i got the tiny milk because i have no need for big milk i hate milk she has milk Okay. Three, some milk over there. Three, okay, well, that's fine. We have even more milk for the cereal. I didn't know she had milk. That was my bad. You know, I gotta be prepared, okay? We got palm, parmesan. I actually just bought this cheese grater for this parmesan because I ain't about to buy pre shredded cheese, okay? That's, that's the first step to failure. By the way, I got my whole family here, so that's why it's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> we we got the whole family at the crib so there might be some shenanigans going down today but uh that means a lot of people to eat what i'm about to cook and a lot of opinions to tell me how good it is and then i got the chicken actually i usually get the cubed ones it's still this brand but i usually get the cubed chicken but they didn't have it so i just got the seasoned rotisserie i feel like that's gonna be good i guess i'll chop it anyway Let's get started. Hey, mama, how do you unlock the phone? Is that the face you make? <laughs> Alrighty, the first step, cook fettuccine according to package directions. We're not gonna do that first because then it's gonna be ready first and then it's gonna get soggy. So we're gonna do that midway. That's my expert knowledge. In a large saucepan, combine the milk cream cheese and cheese spread okay first i need a large saucepan i don't even know where that is let's look i got it Brenda, with the <laughs> <blueprints>. <laughs> i 
I'm leaving this one. Milik. Milik. Pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna please don't. Mom, it's in the beauty contest. It's not like it's not like YouTube is for hot people only. And even if it was, you'd still be allowed. Okay, so I got my saucepan right here. I'm gonna take you with me so that you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, it's a good angle. Look at my shirt, by the way. Got cookies? I smell cookies. It's a Pillsbury Doughboy. I got this shirt in the kids section at Walmart. It's actually in the little boy section. So uh, yeah, that's a good place to get shirts. This is the stuff we putting in first. I'm doubling the recipe. So yeah, I'm doubling the recipe because I'm feeding like more than two people. So yeah. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the? I am be cooking. That is. <laughs> that's the wrong burner. Wow. Just kidding. Okay, now we cooking. Put this whole thing in here because it says four ounces and this is eight ounces. And since I can do math, that tells me that it's okay to put this whole thing in there. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and like make these into small cubes so they melt faster because I've made this before and let me tell you guys this cream cheese takes forever five ever to melt like it takes it so long so I'm gonna go ahead and like spoon it in here so it doesn't take as long Ugh, gas stoves smell you know they smell exactly like you would expect them to like gas it was at this moment he knew he fucked up Just kidding, it smelled like gas because it wasn't burning yet. It was just releasing toxic fumes into the air. That's Hey y'all, I just wanted to pop in here and say this was a really rookie move on my part. I'm not used to using gas stoves, but you should always remember to check that it ignited because you don't want to leave the gas on. That's very dangerous and if you breathe that in for so long, you could literally die. And I was okay, thankfully. I did go and get some air and like air out the kitchen. It was only on for a few minutes, but I I just want you guys to know that that is really risky. So you should always be careful. So don't do what I did. Okay, bye. That's better. <laughs> This stuff is where it's really at. I'm pretty sure this is why it's so good. This garlic herb stuff, it's so good. And it smells really good too. Cutting board. Obviously this cutting board has been graced by many, many foods over the years. So it's well seasoned with experience. I'm gonna cut chicken on it, but not before I do the vegetables cause that's gross. Actually, I don't think I have to cut the vegetables. Never mind, I'm lying. I'm just gonna cut these chickens. Actually, just kidding. I don't know what the heck's going on. I'm gonna cut these first. Oh yeah. They smell really good. They smell like I'm, you know, I mean bell peppers. That's what they smell like. And bell peppers smell good. I don't know if this is the best method to do this, but uh that's not stopping me. I cooked the broccoli before I put it in the sauce because I don't like crunchy broccoli. Obviously, I'm not a chef, so this looks really weird the way I'm doing it. 
but uh, I have no excuse. I'm just doing it like this because I want to. And I don't want to touch the peppers with my bare hands, okay? This is why I don't cook, because I don't like to touch slimy vegetables. I'm just doing it, I'm doing it one-handed. That's what she said. Y'all remember that YouTube channel, Bon Appetit? And they had a girl named Claire, and she used to make, like, gourmet versions of snack foods. I used to really love that. I don't know what happened to that, but I guess I ain't doing it anymore. So I really like that show. I'm sure a seasoned professional could do this a lot faster than me, but I'm not a seasoned professional. I am a bland lay person. So that's why it's taking me forever. I don't want to put all the chicken in, so I think that's what I'm going to go with is this much. And it's really hard. I thought it would have thought out by now, but it didn't. Oh, why are these broccoli so big? Oh, well. Oh my god, that is a big brock. Wow, okay. I should have chopped the broccoli, but it is too late. So we got, we got big brocks. Nothing wrong with the big brock, you know? The, the sauce is going to be chunky. I haven't made this in a while, okay? Cut me some slack. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to freestyle and put a little more milk in here because I feel like it's not saucy enough. And that's probably my fault because of the whole broccoli being too big situation and how I just unabashedly poured the entire thing in. Next, we grate the parm. How much parm do I even need? Oh my god. Okay, um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think that I am flubbing this entire thing because now the sauce is too liquidy. So I probably poured too much milk into it. I need half a cup of parm, so I'm just going to fill this baby halfway through. I definitely put too much linguine in this saucepan like I should have probably not done that but uh looking back at the last 20 minutes I think I should have done a lot of things differently whenever I'm cooking I always feel like you know those cooking games where you have to cook stuff and you have to get it to the customers and if you take too long they get mad and then you lose your lives that's what I feel like every time I cook I feel like I'm juggling some impossible things and they're all getting away from me and it's really stressful, and that's why I don't usually do it. I mean, how am I supposed to cook all of this stuff at the same time and simultaneously be on top of it all? Like, what am I, Superwoman? No. So, anyway. I'm feeling overwhelmed and hungry. Hopefully it'll all be worth it. Y'all see how liquidy this sauce is? I... I flubbed. I flubbed it. Okay, I mean, basically the sauce is done, the linguine is almost done. What I'm going to do is, well, I don't know. Because the broccoli still feels like not as soft as I usually like the broccoli to be. So maybe I'll cover this or something? Let it, let it be for a little bit? This is supposed to take, like, 30 minutes to cook, and it always takes me longer because I do a lot of things wrong. So... That's happening again, as you can see.
This is what it looks like. Pretty good. A little chunky, a little runny, um, whatever. Piesta. Alright y'all, this is me showing you the finished product. I was so excited to eat it that I forgot to film an outro. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what else you would like me to do. Thank you so much to the person that suggested this video. I will put their comment up. That was really cool of you. I hope you liked it. And yeah, stay frosty.